Hey everybody, welcome back to This Sucks. This is episode four of my cancer vlog and I cannot thank you guys enough for your support and the positive thoughts and the prayers that you've been sending our way. It's definitely helped bolster my spirits as we learn more and also don't learn more. Sometimes that's the worst part is the not knowing. The only update I have for you guys right now in regards to my diagnosis and plans for the future is that I officially have a biopsy scheduled and that's gonna be this Friday. And then we wait again until results come in and I have a chance to talk to my doctor. So I will keep you guys in the loop as much as possible. Uh, as soon as I know, I will you know let you guys know as well. Whew. That having been said, Today, I wanted to do something a little different. Uh, I wanted to be a little bit more positive and think about like the really good things. And um, I wanted to bring up the idea of a bucket list. Pogdad had asked me, what is on your bucket list? And for those of you who are not familiar with what a bucket list is, essentially it is a list that you create of things that you want to do or accomplish before you pick the bucket. For those of you who aren't familiar with that saying, essentially that means things you wanna do before you die little morbid in a way, but it's a way to look to the future and um, try and create goals and have dreams um, about things that you want to do, whether that's with on your own or with people or whatever that is. And, and dreams are so important. Um, so I challenge you guys to think about some of those things that you want to do, things you want to accomplish in your life or your own bucket list. And please comment uh, below on what some of those things, I would love to hear what some of your bucket list items are. I'm gonna share some of mine that after sitting down for a while, I was able to um, think about and go, yeah, these are things that um, I would love to be able to do. And um, that very first thing goes back to when I was a kid and that is I wanna swim with dolphins. Don't know where that would be or what it would look like, but I've always loved dolphins. I was sure when I was a kid that I was going to be a marine biologist and I was going to study dolphins and that was going to be my life and that didn't happen. <laughs> um, so to have that opportunity, I think would be really, really special and very, very cool. Especially if I could share it with my family and my kids. Yeah, that would be absolutely awesome. Um, one of the other things that I can, I can genuinely say that I have accomplished but it's not gonna leave my list because I can always do it again and that's make a difference in someone's life. That's, I think, um, for who I am as a person, that's always something that I'm striving to do and striving to um, help other people. It, it, ah, so that is something that I will never cross off my list. No matter how many lives I can touch and, and how many people I can help, I will always want to do a little bit more. Um, yeah, and I'm proud of that. That's That's something that I really, I'm really proud of myself for that. So make sure that you guys have some things on your list that um, makes you proud of yourself. Well, I think that's a really important thing. So some of the other uh, things on my list is I want to get another tattoo. I have one and you guys haven't seen it, it's on my shoulder. Um, but I want something a little more special to commemorate all of this stuff that is going on. And I want an F cancer tattoo with the actual F word. Um, and I want it to be beautiful and colorful and I don't know where it would be, but um, I want to do that. And I have a feeling Pogdad and I will probably get matching tattoos and anyone else who wants to. Um, so that's what I want to do. I want I want something to uh, commemorate that cancer sucks and um, but that we can beat it and, and that it's gonna be okay. So that's that's on my goal and I need to contact somebody. I have somebody in mind. Um, who did my other one and he's amazing. So that's, uh, that's, that's another one on the list. Now, some of the other ones, of course you have to have travel on your bucket list. That's just one of those things. So there's, there's three places that I would love to go. Uh, I want to visit New Zealand. I want to visit Ireland and I want to visit, re uh, visit Scotland uh, with the family would be amazing. Um, those are just like three places that I've either, I've, I've either met people from there or, you know, with pictures and history and all that kind of stuff. It's just somewhere I just want to visit and see and, um, and experience those cultures and everything else. So three places, those are, that's a really big ask. Um, uh, but 
if I'm able to manage that, that would be pretty, pretty cool. And, um, and of course, I'm, I'm sure there's going to be people who are like, don't you want like, like a YouTube goal or anything? Sure. My, uh, my YouTube goal, um, for our channel is a million subscribers. I, I want to see a million subscribers one day on our channel. That would be wow, very, very, very neat. And, um, just to create that community, especially the community that you guys have already helped create, uh, to think that we could have something that big and that positive to share with other people is really heartwarming. So million subscribers. And um, lastly, and maybe not lastly, there's no really particular order for these, is there is a place in Alaska called China Hot Springs. And uh, I mean, it's, it's up, you know, by Fairbanks, it's cold and it's frozen a good portion of the time, but it has a natural hot springs and they have pools and outdoor pools. And Pogdad and I lived in Alaska um, for two years and we never got to go. And during the fall and the spring, it's supposed to be one of the best places to go to see the Northern Lights. So I wanna go to China Hot Springs and I want to sit in one of their uh, warm springs and I wanna watch the Northern Lights. So those are the items on my bucket list. And I want to know what yours are. So please comment below. Let me know what uh, your bucket list items are. I would love to hear them. And um, again, thank you guys so much. I will be updating you as much as I can. Um, I did also want to remind you that I'm, I'm an open book. I'm doing these vlogs because I think it's important that we don't stigmatize cancer in a way that it's hard to talk about it. Um, so if you have questions, ask. It's okay to ask. Leave a comment. You can send an email. We have our email on our page as well or on our website. Um, I am okay with answering those questions. If I don't respond right away, if there's a lot of questions that come in, I may just do a video um, to answer those questions. I may not have all the answers, um, but I'll do my best to try and find them uh, for you. And if it's specifically about me, um, that's okay too. That is perfectly all right. So leave your questions, leave your bucket list items in the comments below. And thank you guys again. Have a great day, morning, night, whatever it is for you. Don't forget, please be kind. Do something nice for somebody else. Stay awesome.